Hey, hello everyone. In front of me, I've got a Toyota in a 164 skill from the brand Hobby Japan and one from Time Micro to compare with the one from Hobby Japan. Uh, you can see it is from the, I think it's a cartoon initial D, which is very popular in uh, Asia. It comes in a nice display box. And the reason I bought this model, because there is a figure inside the car. I thought that was really cool. So here we see the back, 164 scale Toyota Sprinter. A um, little bit of a cartoon. I don't know what it is saying. Maybe some one of you uh, understands this language and can translate it for me and let me know in the comments. Really curious. Yeah, it comes in a nice diorama uh, display. Let's remove the plastic first. So we don't have that much reflection. Off. I really like uh, these kind of displays with a uh, nice diorama in the background. And I also like that, uh, that it looks like the light is shining on the road, on the concrete. That is really cool. Okay, so here we have the model and how cool is it that there is a figure inside. I like that right hand drive. It's uh, made out of metal. Opening lights. Uh, the downside is no license plate. I mean, when you drive a car around on the streets, it needs a license plate. So that is not that realistic for me. We do have lensed rear lights, lens front lights. Um, let's take it off the base. One screw right here. go so this is the base it's a plastic base wheels are rolling really well and we got a silver accent here on the exhaust in the end here it says hobby japan here we have the figure how does it look from the front I think more brands should do that uh, with a figure inside. I like that. Okay, uh, now let's compare it with the one from uh, Time Micro that I got right here. And the one from Time Micro is also available with figures, uh, figures from Initial D. I got these with uh, Initial D diorama that is still available in the More Art store on AliExpress. So here we got the figure, white shirt, blue pants. I think that is the same as the driver inside. Let's put this right here. And then we got his friend. I can put it next to it. Oh. Okay, so the one from Hobby Japan cost like $30 and this one is a lot cheaper and it's definitely a winner also very good rolling wheels we got side mirrors we got windscreen wipers that are lying on top of the window and the other ones are molted in the glass from Hobby Japan we'll see that later when I keep them next together a nice carbon hood one from Hobby Japan has a white one and here we have a license plate and that looks so much better. Also opening lensed headlights. 
plastic base but with more silver accent for the exhaust uh, nice looking interior also a right hand drive let's have a better look Here we got the back with also a license plate. Yeah, good steering wheel. Okay, let's keep them next together. I think the one from Hori Japan is a winner because there's a figure inside. We got nice red seats. Uh, but there is a license plate missing and if you pay like $30 for a car it definitely needs a license plate so you see the size is the same and we got more details well it's almost the same but uh, this one has more silver details on the exhaust both normal screws both both got lance headlights but uh, yeah i will choose the one from a uh, time micro because of price details quality don't get me wrong the one from hobby japan is really good Okay, let me know what you think about these cars. Please a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends about my diecast channel. I'll see you soon in the next video. Have a very nice day. Bye.